he now, Mike, I will say this. Um, he violated the gag order in the case, I think, nine times, eight or nine yep. times. Mm -hmm. And the judge, on a number of occasions, said, look, if you don't stop, I'm going to throw you to jail. And he kept saying, I don't want to do that. He eventually, of course, didn't mm -hmm. do that. I don't think he wants to send someone like Donald Trump to jail. Again, we do know there are a number of political implications as far as that goes. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and as I said, there are options, house arrest, probation. This is the type of case where that may be very much appropriate. So those could be possibilities. Even though the judge cannot consider what's beneficial for the over, you know, broad population society, he's going to have to in this case. Because if you want house, house arrest, for example, that you can't campaign five months out of a presidential election, some people saying the most important presidential election in their lifetime, right? So house arrest means he can't campaign. So the half of the country that really believes that this is a conspiracy is going to be now even more emboldened. So this, all of this is on this judge's shoulders. Um, this judge, in addition to getting death threats and people harassing, it outside, there's, there's a scene outside of the courthouse, yeah. right? So it's going to be very, very, very challenging for this judge to, to concoct some sort of a set. Now he's got to sentence him. What does he do?